Hi guys, thanks for joining me today. Uh, if you remember from our last video, we got the Bobcat a little bit past the blocking end stage. Well, today we're going to wrap it up and bring it home with all the fine detail. So uh, without further ado, let's jump in on this little Bobcat. Well, here's where we left off yesterday. And I'm just adding some more of the darker values in uh, the hairs. You can see the strokes are getting a lot hairier, a little shorter. It's a little less uh, in bulk. You know, I'm using a smaller br brush. This is a, um, a small filbert that I'm using, and it's great for doing detail. Here I'm working on the ears. You can see I, ha I still have to get some of the dark values in, but I'm putting in some of the little tiny hairs around the outside. Um, as you can see, it's, it's slowly taking form. It's starting to look more three-dimensional. Putting in the little hairs and the little guard hairs in the ears really does bring this cat to life. Sometimes I have to pull it off of a uh, time lapse just so you can appreciate the time that goes into doing all the little hairs now I'm not saying or suggesting that you have to do each individual little hair um, as a matter of fact I, I don't I only put the hairs in where I really really need to have them and um, so I just wanted to for you to appreciate that when I'm painting the hairs in I am going in the in the direction that the hairs grow so you have to kind of be mindful of that um, of course, I do have a reference that I'm working from, and so, you know, knowing which way the hairs go, you have to be observant of all, you know, all the different, um, directions, because they do, you know, like the, the, the ear hair, and you know, the hair inside the ear goes, you know, it, it may arc in this direction, or this hair may, you know, move in this direction, and another, um, little tip, the brush that I'm using is a dagger. This is a, a 3 8 inch rosemary uh, ivory dagger. And great brush for painting hair. I mean, it's just the awesome. I, I, have, I have some of their sword brushes too, which are also awesome. But you're gonna see, I am right-handed. And being right-handed, my normal direction is to go in this way. Now, what's gonna happen when I have to go to the other side of the face and go in this direction? Now, I can, I can go in this direction as well, but it's not natural for me. So what I often will do while I'm working on a piece is I'll flip the piece over. So if I find that it's easier for my arm to move in that same direction, this way, I can go ahead and start painting my hairs in, in this, and it's easier for me if I, if I, you know, flip the painting over like this. So I just wanted to go ahead and, and suggest that, you know, it's okay for you, if you find that it's easier for you, like if I was gonna go inside the hair and start painting the hairs in here, I'm gonna be able to go in this direction a lot easier because I'm right-handed than for me to push paint in the opposite direction. So, you know, flipping your painting, I do it all the time. And I just wanna throw that out there for you guys. Here you see, I'm adding a little bit more detail in the bridge of the nose. And I'm working through the, no the nose and the little uh, whisker tracks and just moving along through this piece. And it's coming together quite nicely and it's almost done.
remember, sometimes we go ahead and tip it upside down. I'm having trouble with the angle of the camera. So I'm trying to get this in here. It's coming along, albeit upside down, but it's coming along. One thing I want to add too, and I'm, I don't know if you're, you can see it here, I am keep moving different colored grays. This little pile of paint right here is a bunch of different grays, and I've got a violet gray, a blue gray, and just kind of a yellowish meh gray. And when putting your little details in, you still have to be kind of conscious of the color shifts or temperature, temperature shifts. So whereas I have a warmer cast on top of the bridge of her nose, simply because that's where the, the light is falling, as you get to the cooler side of this cat's face, and believe it or not, this side is the cooler side of the face, it's, it's almost the same, but it's just slightly different, just very slight. I switched from a warm gray, highlight to actually a purpley cool gray in this area so i know when i'm i'm time lapsing you can't i'm not talking and i'm i mean i'm not able to explain as i'm going along and i know when i do um actually um go into editing of this particular video i will explain it but i just saw this as an opportunity to explain that i do have a little pile of gray colors here and I'm being conscious of the temperature shifts within the painting so um, and, and you can see some of these strokes are just itty bitty tiny baby tiny 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 strokes and they're more like dots because that's all I can see in this particular piece and I I did explain earlier that I'm not gonna paint every individual hair but oh, okay people if you know me, that's really hard for me not to. I love the detail part of any painting, um, as I'm sure you do as well. Um, I can get lost in the detail, and all of us actually can get lost in the detail to the point where we actually lose the big picture. So try not to get lost in the detail. Make sure your big picture is correct before you go all and do all these fabulous uh, detailed pieces and then find out later, ooh, that's not correct. So. It happens, it's happened to me and it's happened to a lot of my students. I'm not gonna call anybody's name out, <laughs> but y'all know who you are. All right. So like, I guess like, for lack of a better word, little eyebrows. And where is it on this side? Oh. And here you see the completed piece. I have to say, I'm pretty, I'm pretty happy with this little cat. Uh, the bobcat came out nicely. I really like his whiskers. Uh, I think the whiskers are probably one of the most important part. <laughs> I enjoyed painting the bobcat. I hope you enjoyed following along. Uh, thanks for joining me today. If you have any questions about the painting process that took place today with the bobcat, or or even the video before on the bobcat, or any question at all. Perhaps you have a, a suggestion of something you'd like to see me paint. So whatever it is, leave me a comment. Let me know. Subscribe. Give me thumbs up and lots of love. And until then, we'll see you next time. Bye.